Hey everyone, my name is Dave Liao and in this introductory tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the menu item in Microsoft Excel. Down below the quick access toolbar, we have our file menu. So the moment I click on that, it brings up a new screen. Some of your quick access toolbar items carry over, uh, again, because you need to continue to navigate and control the view. The main thing you'll notice though, is along the left, you have basically a vertical menu that allows you to either create a new Excel file under new, open an existing file or a file that you most recently worked with. Info, uh, which is info for the file itself in terms of last, last save, creates, modified, and properties, who it was modified by. Here under info, you will also see some additional detail that again, provides you information such as where's this file located on your computer and those types of things. Obviously, just like with any editing program, you have your save option, which allows you to save the file or save as file. If you wanna save a copy and save it to a different location, you can browse to a different location on your laptop by selecting browse. You have your print options, which will also allow you to create PDFs, which is a good way to document work at different points in time and make sure that those versions are static and cannot be edited over. Given the more recent trend uh, in these past few years of cloud-based productivity, you do also have the option to share your Excel workbook um, in the cloud with other users who also have a OneDrive account with Microsoft and basically work and edit on the same file together in real time. Continuing down, you can also export the file into other formats. Formats that may be commonly used uh, would basically be PDFs as we've just looked at or XPS documents. You can also use the export function to create different file types. If you're working with databases and financial systems, oftentimes they will want an import uh, of a file that is not your traditional XLS or Excel file format. And in, in those instances, you could save this to a comma delimited file format or some other text-based format that can be imported into a financial system. Other items that I've used in the past are template or if you're working with a workbook that is specifically focused on scripts or in other words, macros as, as they are referred to in Microsoft Office, you can save those formats as well. But for the most part, you'll be working with them as workbooks. And for those of you who are working with older versions of Excel, you have an option here to save in an older format so that when the file is created, any Excel version prior to 2003 will be accessible by that older version of software. You can also publish. So there's some publishing options here. Again, I think this is more for uh, distribution of work and making your final work product more accessible for your audience. And then you've got some additional options down here as well. The options at the very bottom here allow you to quickly access different things about your workbook, how you save it, languages. Uh, it also allows you to change everything that we saw on the main page in terms of what tools, what menu items, and what uh, basically access items appear in the ribbon. So that all of that is controlled from here. We won't go into too much detail with that now, but that is again located as the very last item under the file menu. The feedback here mirrors, I believe, the smiley face and frown up here for feedback that they're trying to collect. And account data is user specific information associated with your Microsoft account. Over here in this main bar, you will see that they've integrated templates that uh, can be quickly accessed as well as tutorials over here in this top bar. And down below, they have all of your most recent files listed here so that you can quickly jump to and open those files.